Hey, Scott Grove here, and I'm teaching an inlay course at the Mark Adams School of Woodworking in Indianapolis. And this portion of the course is how to do silver and brass filigree work. It's really fun to do, it's easy, you don't need many tools, and let me share how that works. So, the first thing is getting a very smooth curve. Uh, so, to, so to start your project, you want to scribe the wood with a, with a set of chisels so you get a nice consistent curve. Yep. After I scot <clears throat> after I scribe the line, I then take this homemade chisel, which is simply a drill bit that I drilled into a dowel and ground and sharpened the, the back side of the drill bit. I use that to widen the wood. I, I'm not removing any wood, I'm, I'm just creating a, a sort of a V-groove. I then take my, uh, in this case, brass wire, and I use these curving tools uh, that will give you a nice consistent arch. Um, after that, I want to do a, a preliminary sizing, and I want to taper one end so it feathers into the other elements that I've incorporated. And lastly, okay. I simply just pound this in. Okay, one. I'm using a planishing hammer so I don't dent the wood, and a flush cut pair of wire cutters. Pound that in. I hit it with a little water and glue that will swell the V groove and back together and make this inlay nice and tight. So there you have it. Filigree inlay wire made easy. Okay, pan back out. So I hope you enjoy that quick lesson. Give it a try. Remember to subscribe to Imagine Grove. Check out Mark Adams School of Woodworking. They've got a lot of great instructors and a really bunch of great courses. Um, and also, he's um, just released a new book, and I'm very honored to be in that. It's uh, 30 makers who've made a difference, and it is some of the top craftspeople across the country and how they've affected the community. So please check that out, and it is through Lost Art Press. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.